Welcome to Clue. Uh, why are you speaking like this? Well, <laughs> I want to match April's voice. I'm trying to bring a little bit of calmness to what was oh god not a, a very calm and, and go go serene gadget movie. copter. Oh, are we going to do like an ASMR episode of the <laughs> to talk about <laughs> uh, no gadget? mouth sounds, please? <laughs> uh, that's the opposite of what ASMR is. Go go gadget. Mm. Fucking podcast. Go, go, Gadget podcast. Yeah. All right. Well, we're talking about the 1999 yes. uh, Inspector Gadget. <laughs> Dis- Disney's Inspector Two years Gadget. before the towers fell, yeah. the world was privy world was to Inspector place. Gadget. Oh, God. Two years before Dana Carvey found out. Well, we're in, uh, <laughs> turtle, turtle, turtle turtles? Bits. Before he found out that he's not totally enough for the Turtle Club. <laughs> Well, I was saying earlier that I think this movie is worse than Master of Disguise. And you know why? Dana Carvey is funnier than Matthew Broderick. Yeah. Absolutely. I, I got a big problem with Matthew Broderick in this movie. Well, this is Manslaughter. <laughs> well, that, well, that, <laughs> that, that too. Um, a terrible driver. Uh, so oh. <laughs> this was directed by... Uh, okay. First of all, like I, I used to watch this show when I was a kid. Me too. Wait show. a minute. So when did the show came out? Because I want to okay. place... Colin's okay. Aid, because so it was the, in syndication when me and April were watching it. That's what April said, but the initial run was from 1983 to 1986. Uh, I yes. had no idea. I yeah. thought it was a 90s. Cartoon. Well, do you know why it played so much when we were kids, April? Because it's considered Canadian content, oh, thanks yeah, to Nelvana. So you have right. to hit that uh, percentage so you could just throw uh, Inspector Gadget in there. Was it, uh, it was Deke. Not it Nelvana, was Deke, right? but the first season was animated uh, by Nelvana. Not the second season, though. So oh, okay. I feel like it probably had enough of those uh, points because I don't. I think they've really loosened that up, haven't they, on television about and radio? I don't oh, know because I don't Con. watch. TV you need like anymore, a quota yeah. of uh, Canadian content. To they play, st- right? on the radio still plays like a ton of like tragedy. <laughs> Here's <hit>. Sloan again, <laughs> and, and Sloan and Bare Naked Ladies and Nickelback. Wait, they're Canadian. Yes, they're yeah. Canadian. Sorry. Um, but yeah, I used to love the show as a kid. I don't know why, but I don't know. You know, Don Don Adams. He's I not Canadian, funny. is he? Don Adams? Yeah, uh, from I, Get Smart. I don't think so. I don't think so. But he was in a, a. There was another Canadian show that he was in. I think it was called like Checkout. He was like the manager of like a grocery store. This is a live <laughs> action. This is live the King action. King of Kensington. <laughs> yeah, it was. It was at that level. Mm. Uh, I can't remember. Never like, watched ah. Get Smart. That's way before our no, time. That wasn't on TV. Yeah, I never really got into that. It was only just like reruns when I was a kid, and it didn't mm. really appeal to me. But anyway, he's got a very uh, you know recognizable voice. Yeah, he's got a fun voice. And Inspector Gadget, I remember. I I, I was saying, should we go back and watch an episode of it and see like what it's really like? Because I haven't seen it as they're an adult. They're pretty fun. It's like one joke every episode, and that's yeah, it. pretty yeah. much. And it's, it has like one of the best like opening credit sequences. Of oh, very 80s. good. Great well, catchy theme song. Yeah. Let's uh, dust off my one piece of trivia I have in, about Inspector Jack. Uh, Inspector Jacket. That's like the porn <laughs> version. <laughs> Inspector Jacket. Inspector Jacket. Inspector Jacket. Yeah, but J A C K I T, just in case anybody was confused. <laughs> Jacket. I get uh, it. Is that this was supposed to be a Loop in the Third TV show uh, that was going to oh. be a co production between D- Deke and TMS, but they ran into the problem that uh, they don't have the rights to Loop in the Third, and oh. the family that owned it was very Arsène Lupin. Uh, was very litigious, so I think they animated one or two episodes. They never recorded any voices, and they went, ah, let's retool it. So the rumor goes. I haven't seen, like, it it was supposed to take place in the future. That was the gimmick of the, I don't know if you guys know Lupin the Third. Yeah, I've never seen it, but I know of it. Castle of Cagliostro, the uh, Miyazaki movie. That's Lupin the Third movie. Yeah, okay, so. Very uh, good film. Yeah, when I looked on Wikipedia, this Inspector Gadget was like a a Canadian-French-American co-production. Japanese. As well, because really? TMS animated it. Yeah, and they're like the main Tokyo movie studio. Okay, and I always got a vibe when I was a kid that I'm like, man, I'm pretty sure this is a Japanese show, and they yep. just redubbed it. Um, well, uh, t- it- they didn't redub it, but like TMS is like one of the okay. greatest animation yeah. studios ever. They did like Tiny Toons. They did okay, a lot of the it. best episodes of Batman the Animated Series. Yeah, it was very well animated, but mm-hmm. it had that kind of Japanese style. Yeah, I mean, and like character design and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. But uh, yeah, it had a great opening theme song. And pretty much the whole gag of it was he was like this bumbling idiot. He's just completely oblivious. Yeah. And Penny and Brain. Uh, his, They're the smart ones. Yeah. It, it, they're yeah, like the solving brains. all the crimes behind the scenes. And Which like, was fun a, as a kid because that's your kind of kid character that you can relate yeah, to. Yeah. That you feel like them. Uh, yeah. And the movie version ignored that completely. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I it, was. It ignores upset. a lot of stuff. 
But I remember when they they announced the casting for this, or like when mm-hmm. the first, I'm like Matthew Broderick. That's... I was trying to think of like who would be a good live action in 1999. Inspector Gadget. Jim Carrey. Uh, uh, Harry Shearer. <laughs> Harry Shearer. <laughs> Um, Jim Carrey would be too big. I guess so, but but Matthew Broderick. They want him to be a a Jim Carrey, yeah. He's like the the gag of Inspector Gadget is that he's very confident in himself. Yes, and he thinks that he's always right, and he's oblivious to everything going on around him. Maybe like Steve Carell, but he wasn't around in nineteen. Yeah, Steve Carell would have been. Well, I mean, he was there for Get Smart, uh, starring in that movie. Exactly. Yeah, actually, maybe that's why I was thinking. Yeah, I could see that, but he has like the kind of body type, and he kind of looks like Inspector. Yeah, he kind of looks like Inspector Gadget. And you can yeah. see him doing the straight man thing the entire time. Yes. It yeah. has to be yeah. a straight man. Uh, you got it, be. April. My God, like this. Oh, uh, also, like, what is wrong like with Matthew Broderick? Like his career is terrible. I, well, and he's not a bad actor, but like all his choices basically for his entire career after Ferris Bueller, and I guess I didn't see the other 80s. What well, was Election. War, War election games. was really good. He You're was right. Great in that. Election was great, and he had a very good small part in Manchester by the and Maybe like the producers. <laughs> that movie uh, was well, terrible. The thing about Matthew Broderick, he has a very good Broadway career. Right. So like yeah, he's done so a he lot of stuff on that. Broadway. Yeah, yeah uh, I think that that's why he's he, in the producers. He's kind of cursed with the kind of like, you, oh, he, he just looks like a kind of, old boy like yeah, a father but he doesn't he's yeah, got that child face he doesn't that, have any grit he's always this like <laughs> gee whiz like, you needed that um, <laughs> that inspector gadget grit to yeah he need, need some okay. edge to this character maybe not but uh <laughs> maybe like he just comes off as like a dork i don't think he's charming is a no big he's issue. not yeah. absolutely not yeah and especially with uh he's charming in ferris bueller what was that christmas was it christmas with the cranks oh, not the cranks uh, uh deck the halls deck the halls, deck the halls. Like oh. he's kind of like a he's like an asshole like an insufferable yeah, he, that's asshole. what he always comes off as an asshole that's why he's very good in something like the cable guy or election yeah now, cable guy yeah because it's cable like, guy you know, cable guy is great because he can play the straight man but also you're like this guy sucks like, yeah, yeah like you don't like Matthew <laughs> you're Roderick you're not supposed in that movie. To, yeah. to like him he's he's a, kind of a jerk he's you know? kind of like cold and aloof and like he thinks yeah. he's better than everybody and it's yeah. just uh, even yeah. though he is like and it, well you enjoy seeing Jim Carrey torture him like, in that movie yeah for sure yeah. but it's so it's Man, he's just so miscast in this movie and he is not uh and when he's playing his alter ego it's like the it's the worse. evil he's just it's disturbing uh, it's God. also embarrassing Don't like it. and he can't do slapstick well no which i mean no. maybe he's good at that kind of stuff on stage um yeah. but like it it comes off so desperate and just does not work it never works yeah it's it's just oof. This movie came out right after election. Wow. He, oh uh, Matthew Broderick had Godzilla, then uh, oh Walking the Waterline, which I don't know what that is. Yeah, I've never heard of that. Uh, I don't think he stars in it. Yeah, and he, then, then Lion had, King 2, Simba's Pride. And then Parole. He was, uh, yes. <laughs> when did, no, that was 1987. So yeah, He was like a teen or a, yeah. a, a, young, a young man when that incident happened. Mm-hmm. Um, Which were uh, the manslaughter? Was he drinking and driving? No, no, he was just driving confused on the wrong because he road. was driving on the wrong uh, side. Of the road that's unfortunate. And Ireland. Jennifer Grey was in the car with him. Yeah, and I don't think, I don't think he got like. Any <laughs> uh, I, I feel like a late night host. I'm like joke about Jennifer Grey's nose. No, I will avoid that. I'm too okay. good for it. <laughs> involving a car accident. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I, I mean, we. It always, looked better before she got oh, the plastic surgery. So. We always have to talk about this whenever we talk about Matthew Broderick, which yeah. is it, which we tend ha- to do yeah, quite it's, often. It's have come up a few times. Um, Matthew Broad r- broadcast. When did we talk about Matthew Broderick about before? I don't think we've ever well, done we a movie did about Deck him. Well, we did Deck the Halls. Yeah, Deck the Halls. Yeah, that's right. We may have done oh. another movie that he was in, for all I know. Yeah, he's a total asshole. We've done well, 150 I mean, episodes. This movie, anyway. Um, or most movies. But it, the thing about this movie in is person. it's not just Matthew Broderick. It's filmed terribly. Um, there's weird well, like close-ups all yeah, over the place. Yeah, well, this is a movie that someone told the filmmaking team, hey, it's based on a cartoon, and they cracked their knuckles and went, I know what that looks like. Yeah. And it's like, oh, no. Right, right off the bat. The mask <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah, right off the bat. I, I would was argue like, the mask does it well. This yeah. is just 
This is double, like Son of. I think this yeah. is worse than Son of Mask. Yeah, this is. This I, is I think so too. The, the whole opening. <laughs> is uh, this the worst movie we've done? Uh, no, no, I wouldn't go that far. But okay. the, the whole opening sequence, I was like, oh no, this is. Like oh some, no, yeah. I'm getting Son of the Mask vibes. In, Even like, though it's supposed to be a fantasy sequence. Yeah, but it's, it did it's, look like Son of the Mask. Well, the thing is, this movie is like 78 minutes long, and it's oh, um, man, edited. It crawls over that 70 minutes. Well, like, holy shit! <laughs> it is edited within an inch of its life. Like it's. It, Makes it feel so long. Yeah, it. But like, like the ugh. the opening sequence, like the way, like the energy and the way mm-hmm. it's it's just cut so frenetically, and it's just like. Oh, and then the so stupid obnoxious. interstitial flashes of just random like robot stuff to not sometimes even in the middle of a scene. Yeah, you can tell. It's like were this... they trying to just add runtime? So or... this was directed by David Kellogg, who only has one other feature film credit: Cool as Ice. <laughs> But if the, you go to his IMDb, yes. he has he like must a, have added all of this himself, yes. right? Like every commercial he's ever, and they're huge commercials yeah, as well. It's like a oh, hundred and like fifty Wait, credits. Wait, did or he something. do Kellogg cereal? No, uh, no, he did the Jerry Seinfeld Superman commercial, which is a really famous one. Yeah, I don't uh, recall it, but I'll have to look that up. Yeah, I didn't I'm know looking you here. Could even you probably won't recognize them just from the name of it. No, no. generally commercials are not on IMDb. <laughs> no, and he directed a lot. of of uh playboy stuff oh yeah as well and i think music videos yeah michael jackson uh okay. he's part of that like dangerous the short film uh, he did the yeah, jam yeah, music his, video his big uh, movie breakout was cool as ice well ice. movie breakout is one way to say it <laughs> i've always thought we might have to do that at some point it's a fun movie flophouse just did it on one of their live shows i've never seen apparently it. apparently the production design is really interesting well also the uh i can't say his name yemis kaminsky uh, oh, cinematography yeah, yeah. Janusz oh, that's right. Yeah, Janusz. There Janusz, you go. Yeah. Spielberg's dude, which is mm-hmm. insane. Um, yeah, so nah, you go. I'll go start somewhere. I yeah, guess this, that's true. this this uh, opening sequence. It's basically uh, uh, Matthew Broderick is a beat cop in mm. a totally not a back lot. He's actually not a beat cop. He's a security guard. I mean, in oh, his you mean in his sequence. fantasy? Sorry. Yeah, he's yeah. twirling the baton. It's like some like school buses out of control did you uh, notice how like everything is bright green like, yeah all yeah because it's a cartoon oh. april <sighs> that's why i was just getting it like, was like oh, chroma no. key green though yeah it's, it's like so wide skirt it's wide angles and people's faces being like oh oh I hate it I hate it just the worst uh it's not th- funny that's like the biggest thing right like <laughs> yeah it's just obnoxious and it's you know just it, it just feels like a um Mountain Dew to the extreme commercial, but like yeah. 70 minutes 78 long. 78 minutes it long. It was that, yeah, yeah, commercials at that time. I remember there would be like a Fruit by the Foot commercial yeah. or something. Whoa! Where, yeah, and like the, the camera's camera, going, yeah. like zooming in someone's face. I can see it in my, my mind. Yeah, and to see that. Your teacher like, doesn't want to eat, you to eat this. <laughs> 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 Is that in a movie? Boing? Yeah. Oh, oh the, sound, oh, the effects. sound effects in this movie. Oh. Jesus well, Christ. It does do one of my favorite. Well, <laughs> almost. We'll get to it involving eyes. Okay. Oh, yeah. I know. Yeah, but not on animals. <laughs> Actually, it's funny. When, I, when that scene happened, I just I thought of you and I laughed. Um, yeah. But, I wasn't yeah. laughing. <laughs> I was just looking at watching the movie like grim face. There are so many like honks and slide whistles. Boink. Now and, I like, feel bad because boings. I remember saying for Theodore Rex, there should be more cartoony sound effects. <laughs> now I Inspector got to Gadget my, was like my wish came you're true. the monkey paw curls. <laughs> yeah. This is, like this is way, way, way too much. <laughs> There's like a sound effect for everything. Oh, like yeah. but none of it's funny. No. Like none no. of it like a big slapstick, like, oh it feels like a lot of it was done out. After the fact, where it's yes. just like they're desperately trying to kind of make this work in editing, and uh, apparently, like the original cut was like 110 minutes, and then they screened. no way, yeah, and then they screened it, and it's like cut it down to 78, and it feels like it's barely comprehensible. You know what yeah. Matthew Broderick feels like in this movie? It's like your friend's dad doing a magic trick, and you're <laughs> yeah, like, I agree, Ugh. and you're like, oh, it's like you're so God. embarrassed by for. <laughs> Yeah. No, he feels like your friend's dad, like, rapping or something. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> He's yeah. like, my name is Matthew Broderick, and I'm here to say. <laughs> oh, like, oh, and no. you're just so embarrassed. Like, no. I actually, I have had seen this before. I guess it came out in 99, so I was, yeah. like, a preteen. But I saw it at, like, a sleepover. But I think maybe we had put it on for, like, the younger kids or something. Or maybe mm. we were babysitting or something. I don't really remember. But I remember thinking, this is 
absolutely terrible. Yeah. I remember and seeing that too it. as well when I was, I think I must have been 11. Yeah. And I saw it, I was like, ugh, bad. <laughs> that sucks. Even yeah. kids can tell the stink of a, a yeah. terrible Even movie. though it's like a big Disney film, came in the big clamshell and everything, I remember it's when so I got bizarre. it. Yeah, like they were marketing this up, the wazoo. Like, mm-hmm. I wonder what know. its budget was. Probably very big, Did Disney big, just right? buy the, the rights to the show? I guess I wonder, so. do they own Inspector Gadget? Well, they they must because it's on Disney Plus now. But like oh, at the so, time, yeah. Yeah, well, like, even the uh, opening uh, uh, Disney logo ooh, is like animated. We get it. Like, we get a logo. <laughs> we get it. We get a change oh, you love that, of, April. The, uh, of the uh, the castle, and it becomes um, it's like a cog. And yeah, like machinery. It, it's a mechanic castle. Yeah, I don't know if I've seen that much in like Disney movies. They've like, done it on a few things that we've talked about, okay. but yeah, they don't April like always to points do it that. out. Okay. Yeah. Well, I remember last episode we had the universe shell. Oh right. Um, well. Speaking of, uh, uh, you know, animated openings, the opening mm-hmm. credits for this are animated. Yes. And you think like, I always love, you know, personally, like a good animated opening. You know what I mean? <laughs> opening credits. Yeah. This is like so uninspired and oh, terrible. Yeah. They go on for eight minutes. Did you notice that? No. The credits go on and on. Yeah, they go on for a long time. We didn't even say the opening is uh, Matthew Broderick has a dream where he's a bee cop and he saves a dog and a and a bunch you know, of kids. Yeah, bunch everybody of kids. Like, That's it. Everybody loves him. Oh, I would have. Did you notice the wild product placement throughout this film of yes. like Doritos? And yeah, I was, I was shocked the, the the Chihuahua wasn't like uh, Taco Yo Bell or something. Yeah, Bell. even, yeah. even da- is I don't it know Penny? if you do the voice anymore. Even though that Penny you know, had like a it. big like Calvin Klein logo on her shirt at one point. Yeah. Oh, like, that's yeah, right. I had re- noticed. There's the big Yahoo billboard because you and know they everybody do. Was using God, I love that Taco Bell dog. He oh rules. man, they got to bring him back. I think I'll need a bigger box. Imagine me doing the voice in your head. I'll give it the most flat delivery possible <laughs> why can't we do funny voices anymore? yeah oh we can do that yeah oh, man. Uh, like uh, as they pointed out it's kind of insulting in the simpsons that like anytime you see them horrible and old and and very large they have southern accents <laughs> i'll wash my sail through the rag <laughs> on a stick it's your yeah. wash stick yeah let's go to the library and get some books <laughs> some movies, <laughs> movies. <laughs> yeah. rumors anyway style. we're still allowed to do that accent yeah and mamma mia italian yes. that's a uh, hope that never goes away because well, yeah. I do it all the time, time. <laughs> at me. home yeah. are you like mamma mia we're always, hey, we're we're always another, making that's like, what I'm talking about yeah I'm always making Italian food <laughs> I don't know why we just like <laughs> anytime we're making we're, Italian food maybe we're a little a offside but yeah um, uh, yeah. But, we do it with love which doesn't make it okay yeah, it doing is. an Italian <laughs> accent with a love <clears throat> uh, so <laughs> <laughs> so you're just Mario <laughs> yeah that was clearly Mario <laughs> it's me Mario I'm from Brooklyn God, if Chris Brack can do it yeah. Um, oh, hello. It's me, Mario. That's Chris Pat's son, Mario. <laughs> so, yeah, we get introduced. It's like he wakes up from his dream. Brain is like licking his nose. Ha, now, ha, ha. didn't it feel edited down that like, if you're going to do a dream sequence where at the end, a woman kisses Matthew Broderick yeah. and then it cuts to a dog? Why wasn't she licking his face? That's like the obvious joke yeah. that you because do. Because the mask did it. And they, they oh, is that what the oh, mask did? The mask right. do that exact thing? Well, yes, they did. You can't, they did. You can't yes, rip everything off from the mask <laughs> in this movie. <laughs> so Justin. shameless. Like, <laughs> it, it gets to the point right. at the end, it's like, okay, that was the same shot. They even do yes. the machine gun yes. thing. <laughs> yes. I was thinking that one. It's exactly the same and shot. And they have like the teeth and everything. And then April is like, I think Matthew Broderick probably thought this was his mask. Oh, absolutely. This was going to be like as popular. Like, I'm going to be the next Jim Carrey? Maybe, maybe. He was tortured by Jim Carrey in The Cable That's Guy. Do you think he was jealous? Yeah. But he was like, Jim Carrey's getting all the laughs. Honestly, He's... this is making me want to rewatch The Cable Guy because I fucking love that cable movie. Cable Guy! It's like, I need to wash like, the, the bad Matthew Broderick performance off my brain. Do you know, brain. I've heard there is, not. it's not a Cable Guy remake, but it has the same premise that like a guy makes a friend that like is really intense and it's going to be Paul Rudd in the Matthew Broderick role okay. and our generation's Jim Carrey, Tim Robinson in the Jim Carrey role. Oh, that does sound pretty good. That, but that they sounds could. so good. They did that. They kind of did that in Dinner for Schmucks. Did you guys see that? No, that was I did Paul not. Rudd and, and Steve, Steve Carell. Carell yeah. That movie's not yes. very good, but it's no. it's kind of the but same. But Tim thing. Robinson. Tim Robinson. Oh. I want to see that. I want to see that. That's so funny. Nobody sounds like annoying. a direct to Netflix uh, comedy. Yeah. I no, it's that. actually produced by one of the guys who did Barbarian. Oh, so, really? Uh, will it be like a scary That's movie? That's the, the whitest kids you know? Uh, no, it's not directed. Oh, oh, I don't okay. know who directed I'm going to look here. I haven't seen like, I've only seen it mentioned in <laughs> passing. It got like shut down during the actor strike. But I do oh, know uh, through inside sources that it has been completed. Oh, okay, it's called cool. Friendship is the name <laughs> of the movie. Uh, hopefully it's not a Warner Brothers movie. 
Uh, yeah, oh Lord. God, I hope not. Who directed it? Usually, when I see these comedies, I'm like, who directed? It's like uh, somebody who didn't do much, just does TV. Someone I did, who our used to write death. for The Simpsons. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, uh, High Fidelity. So he's just like a TV guy. TV guy. Uh, maybe it'll be good. Uh, I hate know. Tim Robinson. I'm gonna uh, see. He needs his feature film. <laughs> yeah. uh, yesterday, me and my friend, we were literally just saying Tim Robinson sketches to each other, and then we just started watching them. We were just coffin like, flops. Yeah. <laughs> Is it weird that one in five bodies just are, are naked? <laughs> I love the sketch where it's like the gorilla comes in and pulls the wig off and he's like, oh, that's why I'm bald. It's from season one. <laughs> I don't remember that one. It's so funny. Off and it was so a, it was a pig wearing a Nixon mask. Oh, yeah. It's like, uh, people love it when uh, we just say funny sketches yeah. that we like. For one minute, uh, I thought there were monsters on the world. <laughs> And I wish I would die instead of going to work. Isn't that sick? We were watching the, uh, what was it, the Dragon's Den one the other night with that girl. Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, with the wine? <laughs> I like wine. I'm scared how much that I girl, like wine. That woman has such funny sketches, like the one where it's like, uh, we're going to watch this driver's ed video, but uh, don't <laughs> ask about the table. <laughs> Eddie Munster got my table so dirty. It's just her, the way she Wait, says things is so funny. Freddy Krueger. I, I can't even jerk. watch a movie without a big mouthful of wine <laughs> and popcorn. Every line is so funny. Don't that. give me a bad deal, Rob. They fired me at dinner. <laughs> Oh, it's so All right, uh, this has been an ad it, yeah. for, I think, usually, <laughs> man, more laughs in funny. this last 30 seconds than we collectively had watching Inspector Gadget. <laughs> it's so true. I did not laugh. I think I laughed once, and I'm so sorry. It was from an Andy Dick joke in no! this movie. I'm not going to give him uh, the honor of being my favorite thing because the he's true a villain of this person. movie and everything um, that he appears but, in Andy Dick. Um, uh, so he plays bad scientist. Uh, um, Sorry, ba- yeah, Doctor Doctor oh, Claw's it? scientist. Wait, wasn't it Doctor Claw? In yeah, the, in the and then this cartoon? he's like just Claw. What? Right. Boo. Well, he starts off. It's Rupert Everett, by the way, and again, like very strange casting. Why did they give him a claw? He has a metal hand in the show. It looks cool. He doesn't have like. It's true. It does not look this like is it. it looked like absolutely in the show. everyone who made this movie. They don't care about, and rightfully, no. so they don't need to care about Inspector Gadget. Exactly. That's fine. It's like but it's like translated in like, I don't know, he has a claw, I guess. <laughs> like, <laughs> I did love uh, that Andy Dick made him like different types of hands. And he has like mm. his opera hand and then the sushi hand. And it just yes. Has well, I'm going to say this right now. Sometimes people who are problematic uh, make make things that you enjoy, and I will uh, say you don't have to I worry think, about Andy Dick. I don't think, I know do. Andy, Andy Dick has been funny in the past. He was funny on like the Ben Stiller show yeah. and yeah. like many other sketch related things. Um, so he is kind of one of the only people in this I kind of laughed at. The other person uh, was Sherry O'Terry, and I will say she'll she'll be my favorite thing. She plays the the mayor, the mayor of the city, and she uh, was funny. Dabney Coleman playing uh, See, the police chief, chief? Quimby. Uh, oh, I love Dabney Coleman. He's great in everything that he's in. He's funny, but it's just like, wow, when was the last time I saw Dabney Coleman in anything? 95. <laughs> yeah, he's great. I'm sure he's been in something since then. Oh, you sure. know what's weird about Dabney Coleman in this movie? Is he like, he doesn't get punished. That's the joke of his character in the show. Is, he's is that like he's <laughs> blown up and like just terribly treated by Inspector Gadget, yeah, no, but for some reason still has faith in Inspector he, Gadget. He's just a yeah, completely different character in the movie. All and, that mm. happens is that he spits out his coffee because apparently a kitten like threw up in it or something okay, and a the, very yeah. poorly choreographed That was the weirdest scene joke. and this happened happened again and again there would be gags uh, and just the way the the scene is edited just uh, yeah mistimed it, mist, yeah, everything yeah. is mistimed it's just very confusing and you're like wait a minute was that a what happened yeah and if i don't get it how is like a kid supposed to get this who is the audience to this movie the, the filmmakers don't care yeah, they're yeah, like yeah. it's for kids we don't it doesn't need but to work put a bunch like, of adult jokes in this too uh, well, that's the well, worst sign enough. of like, yeah, not uh, just not the innu- understanding not your audience. just innuendo, but like references to old TV shows and movies. It's all over this. There was like, you a, know, yeah. I think what was missing from this movie was like CGI dogs dancing to like, you've got to move it. Move it. I think I would have liked that well, if that there, happened. There was a scene where uh, Brain, they have a, they're playing like Smash Mouth, and then they show yeah, yeah, Brain yeah. dancing in the back of the car. But it's like oh, a I weird like he's, moving. He's shot. clearly just being like shaken by somebody off screen. Mm. Yeah, it was not a CG. No, I thought we were gonna get a fully 
animated CGI uh, brain dog. You know, I, I'm gonna say it. I think uh, brain should have been fully CG. Yes, uh, 1999. That's very rough. But the movie should have been from Penny and Brain's point of view. Yes, I know. that's oh my how. Because we're spending so much time with Inspector Gadget. He sucks. He's lame. He's not funny. It's about how <laughs> like, he wants to get laid by that lady. Yeah. Like a lot of the movie is that. Then we spend a ton of time with Doctor Claw too. Yes. Like, yes. <sighs> Doctor Claw, the villain that you never see in the TV show. <laughs> He never does the voice. <laughs> He's just like a guy in this. Yeah. Well, uh, he does. Okay. He. he uh, <laughs> should we just like get through the basic plot of this? Yeah. Like, let's do it's, it. It's stupidly complicated. Yeah. It's like uh, Rene Aubergenois uh, from uh, Odo DS9. From DS9. Uh, he and his daughter are like they have this robotics thing. They're developing the gadget program. So uh, whatever. It's so lame. Yeah. Uh, and he gets killed. He gets yeah. killed like instantly. Yes. Uh, which R. We. R. we, we kind of like blinked and missed his death. We're his, like, his daughter gets over it very quickly. Oh, yeah. yeah Big yeah. time. Yeah. It's essentially the the plot of RoboCop. So yeah. uh, he works, uh, Matthew Broderick works security at their building and Rupert Everett, who at this point is not Dr. Claw yet, he has some different name. He comes mm-hmm. in to steal the technology and then he goes after him and I guess Rene Aubergenois gets killed yeah. in the process. And Gadget, uh, sorry, Matthew Broderick, you know, gets hurt. <laughs> he was so method, you can't tell yeah. the difference between both of them. He gets hurt, and Rupert Everett loses his hand through a wacky, you know, thing where yeah. a billboard falls on he, him. He blows his, up his car, and then a bowling ball flies. Uh, a Yahoo building. Thank yeah. you very much. And a it goes ad. Yahoo. It's a big ad for Yahoo. So annoying. Uh, yeah, it's just edited so terribly. I'm like, did he just? Did his hand get crushed? April had to tell me. Uh, yeah, it does. A bowling ball falls yeah, on it. So then, it, it, but it's just edited so badly. It's just uh, nothing works. So he wakes up and in he's a full in a body, full body cast. cast. Oh, ha, ha, ha. But the thing is, like, they're like, uh, is he dead? No, he's alive. So it's just, so why? So the the lady is like. The only so they, like, choice is to turn him into a robot. replaced his entire body. Yeah. yeah, like it wasn't his choice at mm-hmm. all. Uh, it's not like a, the future with, uh, you know, what is it, Oscorp or, or OCP? Yeah. Um, well, where at least like he... we're in a dystopian future. <laughs> they do make a point of saying in RoboCop, it's like, oh, he signed the papers like when he yeah. joined the force. But in blah, this, blah, blah. like Matthew Broderick did not consent to this, and if he's <laughs> in a full body cast, he's not dead. He would have he yeah. would have recovered eventually, but instead they turned him into a a robot monstrosity. Yeah, they do. Yes. Uh, Daphne Coleman has like an English patient joke here. Yeah. Uh, when they see him. In the- <laughs> That's for mom and dad. I'm like, <laughs> who the hell is going to get that joke? I know. Like, oh, my God. Wait, when did English patient? Did English patient come out like 1992 or something like that? Oh, I can't 1996. So not that long yeah, ago. Okay. Yeah. I didn't so even like- see it, although I did read the book. Oh. Just, I had to because in high school. So oh. they, the operation scene, they're turning him into an expector gadget. It's like, mm-hmm. what what kind of program is this? They have like, they're stuffing all this stuff inside of him. Like, he's got like it's a. funny, Colin. Like, it's he's, supposed to be funny that they're putting balloons and Pez dispensers in his body. Hilarious. And it's, he's got like, I don't know, it seems to be like 700 gallons of toothpaste like in yeah. his body somehow. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Don't question it. I'm not buying it. It's a it. cartoon. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you just have to uh, go with it. Yeah. And it's done in like a normal hospital as well. Like not like a science hospital or anything yeah, like that. Yeah, it's very strange. And I just, I, my note for this scene was operation scene. So many slide whistles, sound yeah. effects for everything. <laughs> yeah. And here's the thing about Inspector Gadget. It's not fun to see stuff come out of his body. No. It looks unsettling. And like what, it this? makes you question too many things. Yeah. yeah. When he like looks at his hands and like a corkscrew and yeah. fire comes out of his fingers, it's like it, it's kind of like body horror ish. But well, when he a... wakes up, he's like, What am I? It's awful. How did they go from uh barely moving a foot to installing it all in Matthew Broderick? I, I have no idea. Yep. Your guess is as good as like, mine. When his neck stretches, I'm like, I don't like looking at that. Yeah, and <laughs> like, then Rupert fun. Everett is able to create a, a whole, whole, a whole clones. Just, for some reason, yeah. that looks like Matthew Broderick. Yeah, and then there's another one of the girl. He, so he just now, creates a robot. I was thinking head. about this. I guess there's not that many like Inspector Gadget villains in this. In the, like the cartoon. Oh, I don't. He just remember. like stops normal crime, right? I, I think, think so. Like, I, I feel like claws behind everything, though. Yeah. yeah. And he's always got but, his cat. I'll get you <laughs> next time. I'll gadget. Get you gadget. Gadget. Wait, who does the voice again? Someone, uh, Doctor. 
<laughs> Dr. Claw. It could be it could be me. It could be you. No, we did watch a It's probably uh, like Jim Cummings or something. Oh, it's Frank Welker, of course. Oh, for God's yeah. sakes. Yeah, yeah, they yeah. He probably did the cat as well. Oh, I'm sure. Yeah. <laughs> Meow! House cat. Yeah. We did watch a clip uh, of the sequel with French Stewart. Oh. Uh, we couldn't even oh. get through the full clip. Boy, oh boy. I'm, <laughs> I'm glad we didn't watch that. If but, you thought this CG I looked bad. Oh god. Holy Well, yeah. I think one of the other weird issues with this movie is it's like not weird enough mm-hmm. to be funny. Like it's just like unsettling in a way that like <laughs> it almost scientifically designed. You- like I uh, sang the praises of some scenes of Son of Mask. Right. <laughs> it was just like, you- what were they thinking? <laughs> yeah. But here it's so like craven. Like I could tell the guy of Son of Mask, he's trying to make this funny. Right. And here it's like, oh, these fucking stupid kids. This is what they want, right? <laughs> yeah. They want like a car uh, that for some reason has a CG face <laughs> that is a sidekick voiced by D.L. Hughley. This is like ins- the it's, most annoying character in the movie. Uh, I hate and him. not saying something. Um, it's like everything in this fucking movie makes a noise and is yeah. yakking and, and is yammering talking. at it's you. It's just like nonstop. It's kind of like Theodore Rex was. Uh, um, is this better or worse? I don't know. They're probably, I think they might hate both uh, of those I would prefer equally. to watch Theodore Rex yeah. if given the choice Big again time. than Inspector Gadget. I think Gadget. I would too, but I really hate Theodore Rex. I can look at the Rex. dinosaurs. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you're right. I'd rather look at the dinosaurs, and I like Whoopi. Then Whoopi, like Matthew than Broderick Matthew Broderick's like, face. Whoa. Yeah, especially when he becomes the evil Matthew Broderick with Ugh. the teeth. It's, it's just like disturbing, Ugh. actually. Yeah. But like we say, disturbing. But do you think if uh, someone maybe like a Tim Burton was doing this movie, it would at least have a more <laughs> interesting like weirdness to it? Uh, yeah, but my issue with Tim Burton, he's not very funny. Like I guess he not. does he does comedic stuff, but like slapstick is not really his forte. Yeah. His humor is more dark. I think. Yeah. I think that would be I'm envisioning a version of be a little Inspector darker. Gadget that's just like Ugh. He's like, Why am I alive? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like scissor hands. <laughs> Like, if I was uh, given a job, like, Asylum was like, hey, you need to make, like, an Inspector Gizmo movie. <laughs> I'd be like, okay, Detective so, Gizmo. Yeah, Detective Gizmo. Uh, now, they, they'd go with Inspector Gizmo. Like, it needs to be close well, enough that it doesn't people. get too far away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, my friend was like, well, there's a lot of nudity in the Steven Spielberg War of the Worlds film. <laughs> and he's like, wait a minute. Um, True story that happened got, to my friend Christian. Oh, okay. He got tricked. Uh, back when you could rent movies at Roger's Video. Uh, at, you would do it from the point of view of brain and penny mm-hmm. uh, if yeah. i was doing a asylum version though i don't think i could do a full cgi dog mm-hmm. <laughs> guy in dog suit hey, <laughs> that has yeah. never stopped the asylum yes. or just film, oh, film a, a cg dog. thing no film a dog but then have like a cartoon voice a la love, yeah. love on a leash style but, or like but detective the uh, brain brain doesn't talk like he does not talk yeah, in the he cartoon just makes noises. he's silent like, yeah. yeah yeah that's but the he, joke he's so expressive though yeah. he's like yes i'm pretty sure he walks on like two feet like he walks like Oh uh, yeah, sometimes he does. Yeah. I think I remember him being it's... like on the computer typing. Yeah, stuff. yeah, he can do yeah. anything. Because like that's so, like the, like thinking about. I'm laughing thinking about a fictional Inspector Gadget show of like Brain just trying to make Inspector Gadget look good and not kill himself. Yeah, yeah. Like, like that's what's funny. It's not hard. That's funny, and I yeah. I love the Brain character from from. Mm-hmm. from and I like Penny just the cartoon, too. Yeah. like just how expressive he is and just how fun they are. Like yeah, Penny. They and again they do that stupid thing where they kind of leave the setup at the end. Like she gets her little communicator, wrist communicator at the end. Yeah, it's like why didn't we get that? Yeah. In the That's movie. That's like something then, that would be in a movie now. And again, it's like hubris. Yeah. It's like oh, also the brain the like talks, and it's like no, it's Don brain Adams. talks with with Don, Don Adams', Adams voice. voice, which makes no oh, sense. Yeah. I mean, I would like to say, all right, that's the end of the movie. We're done. But no, nah, we're not done. We got to <laughs> yeah. back up. <laughs> so many goddamn scenes. Uh, we're not going to talk uh, yeah, about well, all of them. But yeah, he yeah t- it, it's, it's, it's Inspector Gadget, like, it's just kind of a freewheeling plot. There's not really any threat he has to deal with. No, not really. And but, again, we spend yeah. so much time with Claw and him and his henchmen mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. him developing, you know, trying to steal the foot and get the technology and his, like, evil plan which is to create a bunch of uh, Inspector Gadgets. It's like an army of gadgets. Yeah, that, that, that he's going to sell to like the military or something, I think, or Like, policemen. why wouldn't they look like... I know why, because he wants them to, uh, you know, embarrass Inspector Gadget. Mm-hmm. But, like, they can look like Rupert Everett or someone else. I don't know. Like, uh, yeah. Why does it have to look like Matthew Broderick? It could yeah. be just like yeah. a bunch of Andy Dicks. Army, yeah army oh of, god an that's a of nightmare of like robotic andy dicks yeah, yeah. it's yeah, you can tell though like they they 
have a lot of moments where he'll flash back to something that happened. Like, yeah. literally, like... That, a, you know that was another scene Oh, exactly. Like, yeah. a cartoon thought, bubble will come bubble. up for a second, and I would turn to April, and, like, that's that's a whole sequence that they cut out. Yeah, that, they just, like, mm. sped it up a little bit to me. But, like, yeah, you can see the edits in this. Yeah. Which, just, uh, that's not what you want. It's like, jam it all into, like, 78 minutes, and, you know, it's probably, like... 40 minutes of shit that they cut out. You're right. It does scream of like, ah, just throw a bunch of shit in there that will keep kids' attention. Yeah, yeah there's an explosion. We got to keep that. Yeah, Have yeah. it in a thought bubble. Uh, yeah, that'll exactly. That'll be good. It's like, keep it short. You know, just chop it down so we can show like a bunch more screenings a day and get more money or something. But the scene where Joelle Fisher, for some reason, meets her uh, like sex-obsessed robot, Oh, yeah. twin? keep that in. Keep that. Yeah, in. That's that a little great. something for daddy. Right? Yeah. <laughs> it was kind of funny when she does a cheerleading thing and she just flips right off the roof. Yeah. <laughs> but then she's yeah. just fine later. So like, come on, guys. It's, it's a cartoon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Again, that's why don't, you got to don't think about it. I April. wanted to see like an explosion come up <laughs> like <laughs> and they got her because she was in the mask and they're like, yes. oh, we need uh, that mask. Pa- was she? She wasn't the reporter, was no, she? No, see, we thought no, she was. Is, she's someone yeah. else. Yeah, it's Amy Yazbek was the Who reporter. Who is she in the mask, though? We don't know. It's a very uh, She's the Jim Carrey's uh, co-worker. I'm looking at photos okay, of it right now. She must not be yeah. in it very much then. No. Um, no. She was yeah. way down on the IMDb cast list. Yeah, but but yet that's the movie that comes up first on her IMDb. Yeah. <laughs> this is funny. Related to Eddie uh, Fisher. We need that So my favorite that. scene of the movie is when Inspector Gadget has to break into somewhere to steal the shoe. Wait, why does he need the, the like, Dr. Claw, the foot? If he already built a robot inspector gadget. You got me. Uh, maybe he know. built it, but it can't function. Oh, he built right, it, like, but it, it needs that chip. The, the, yeah, the yeah, chip. yeah, that's in the shoe. The, was it the gadget chip or whatever yeah. the hell? In the foot. Uh, uh, anyway, uh, so there's a security guard. He's sleeping. And when Inspector Gadget crashes, you see the Simpson Homer wakes up. That was my favorite part. Yeah. I, was like, so I, I like the Simpsons. Well, I was like, was the security guard watching that? Or did they just flash to it randomly? They were. If you There's okay. a pullout shot and you see Homer sleeping. Okay. Uh, and that's a joke. Um, oh, okay. wait. Because I think Inspector Gadget, he's stealing it cause, from Dr. Claw. Okay. Yeah. I'm just watching it right now. And that's why. Yeah. Because the, the girl ends up working for Dr. Claw. Uh, mm-hmm. Remember, and then he drops the last of the Mohicans joke. He climbs up the window. <laughs> no, I don't remember that. He's like, D- "Go home, stay alive, no matter I what will occurs. Find you. I will find you." Later, you get like, a um, Clint Eastwood movie. Um, you know, the, uh, this is the, awful. The, when they do the show showdown. This is oh. all like the mask, like referencing. It's like this is what people want, right? Yeah. It's like, yeah. no. It's like, no, they want Jim Carrey doing that in the mask. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> don't want. And then never again, <laughs> please. <Matthew Broderick. laughs> Like, yeah. oh, God. But they're, they're okay. So they're, they're like training him, or the scientist doctor is training him on the use of his gadget. And there's like this bizarre scene. They're like the middle of the park. God, which one? Yeah. He's just like, go, go, oh, gadget. The, the oil slick. <sighs> yeah. And then, yeah. And then, like, oh, toothpaste came out. Sprays and it with like, gallons and gallons of toothpaste. This It just goes on, like on and, and on. on and on and on. And also, it's like a running gag that anytime he says, go, go, gadget thing it just well it, that's an ins- that, not, that's an inspector it's gadget not thing. what the thing is supposed to be yeah, 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 yeah and that's supposed to be funny i'm laughing i'm unless he's dancing and he needs to be cool then for some reason he works yeah he yeah, works exactly. he was able to <laughs> find it's not that like go-go ga- he's not like go-go gadget uh oil slick and then like a flamethrower like lights are on fire <laughs> or anything like that That'd be great. See, that should have happened to Dabney Coleman. There was no scene where like an explosion went off and you see like Dabney Coleman's skeleton or something. <laughs> We're like that. writing better jokes right I now. Know. Should, no, it'd be Dabney Coleman and then it would show him, but he would, his face would have like charcoal on it. And, yeah, I and wanted his, to avoid that because it's really the black face. Yeah, but then his, his, like, his hair is smoking. It's all yeah. smudged. Yeah. yeah, it's like he had like an exploding cigar or something. Mm. Uh, oh, yeah. And then uh, so she's like, it sends him to a training, like, to learn like Zen meditation oh, no. to empty his, and we get like Babu from Seinfeld. Yeah, as, playing like, like a guru. Like some Indian guru. Character. And he's like, you have to like close your eyes and grab these two glass balls. Yeah. So they grab his testicles yeah. and his eyes pop out in a horrifying way that you've seen on like remember uh, when we were teenagers April there would be like Ripley's Believe It or Not and they're like we're gonna measure how far people oh, can God. pop their eyes oh, yeah. out. That's yeah. disgusting. I was thinking more yeah. like uh 
Well, they uh, sign on the mask, but also they did that joke in the Grinch where like a guy kisses the dog's butt and the eyes go. Oh yeah, well, it was no, like I think you're uh, thinking of Furry Vengeance. Oh, where well, it like, happened in that ooh. too. Yeah, yeah, I like that. Was, I like that. I yeah. don't like it when it's a human being. Yeah, and they, <laughs> especially they, that they do it like realistically. Yeah, yeah. it's like, like photorealistic, and it looks kind of like uh, remember like the Road Warrior or Mad Max, <laughs> right, yeah. right, right before the guy hits and the car blows up. They always cut. George Miller mm. always likes to cut to like a frame. Uh, yeah, yeah, I love that. Eyes. But it's like a little. It's like a head. Yeah, it's just disgusting. Or the mm. eyes are like bugging out of his head. Gross. Um, it's really funny. Well, I don't know. I and then he starts speaking those. in like a high pitched voice because his balls. <laughs> I'm the tune that killed your brother. <laughs> <laughs> and then they wheel him away, and he's like, oh, yeah. God Almighty. Yeah, and he's like, oh, it hurts. Yeah. Oh, so now Has anyone ever laughed at that joke, like unironically? Yeah, maybe like in the 1930s so. or something. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> came out. Watch out, Itchy, he's Irish. <laughs> Is that what really happens when, when no, you get hit in the doesn't. nuts? Does your no. voice go high? No, because no. it's it's the like, oh, you know, you, you have a deep voice because you're manly. Yeah. And oh. then if you're like feminized, then you have a high voice. That's the, the like the joke. Well, thank you for explaining that to me because no I didn't problem. know. No, <laughs> it's like listen. I've done testicles. deep research into this. I think I asked this question recently as well. Of like, where did this start? Yeah. To a, to a like scientist, the, like, <laughs> doctor. Well, it started it started scientist. in a sexist place. Of yeah, course. I'm sure. oh, that's what people love. Joke scientists. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Can you explain this joke? <laughs> yeah, mm. and therefore it will be funny to me. Uh, so we're introduced to the gadget mobile, uh, which I'm pretty sure he had in the cartoon, but. I don't recall it talking. I don't think it talked. But I could be wrong. I mean... I don't think it did. Was it like a Knight Rider type thing? I don't think so at all. I don't even remember this. I know he had a car because it's... He had a car that transformed. It didn't talk, yeah. I don't yeah. think. It's just a normal yeah. car. But this thing, mm. uh, it's like some weird, like, kind of <sighs> pimped out, like, yeah. low rider. Uh, mm -hmm. with Kids love it. Oh, my God. And D.L. Hegley does not shut up for two seconds. And, like, they no. keep, like... They got Patton him. Oswalt in to do like jokes. Yeah, but it's <laughs> like, like it's scenes that he's not even in. They're like just yeah. cutting to this. See, this is, I think it was added later or maybe added more scenes later. They just keep cutting to this CGI face. Oh, uh, and, yeah. and nothing that he said. And I'm sure D.L. Hoogley is a funny guy. He had his own show. <laughs> um, I never watched it. Did you? No. Is he Hughley? All right. Hughley or Hughley? Hughley. Is it Hughley? The Hughleys. Okay. That's what it was called. I thought it was the Hughleys, but I know. He had his own show it. called The Hughleys? Yeah, I think it was a sitcom. Huh. Yeah, I remember that, but I don't remember. And then I think he was it. on Studio 60 in the Sunset Strip, a show I did watch <laughs> a few episodes of before it got canceled. Um, but yeah, he was having a moment. <laughs> a major gentleman. Da -na 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 -na. I watched the first two episodes too. <laughs> oh my God. God, that show sucks. I had ass. such high hopes for it too. And it just bombed. Uh, how are we going to save this comedy show? Well, how about we do <laughs> a Gilbert and <laughs> a Sullivan Gilbert parody? And, Sullivan. <laughs> and they're oh like, yes, uh, this is such well-worn territory for any comedy podcast. Like <laughs> that show stinks. That's why 30 Rock made the great decision that their Saturday Night Live parody, like the real show is just bad. Like, well, yeah. they never try to make it funny. Also, their show, 30 Rock, was only half an hour long. I think that mm -hmm. helped it. Studio 60 yeah. was an hour. Yeah, Rest in peace, just uh, so, like, full Matt LeBlanc. I, I remember, Wait. like, when they first came out, because they came out at the same time. They did. Much. They both aired at the same, like, <laughs> they, they, Sorry, I said debut. rest in peace, Matt LeBlanc. Matt LeBlanc is not dead. <laughs> Matt LeBlanc? Oh, you mean yeah. Matthew, Matthew Perry. Perry. Matthew yeah. Perry, yes. No. I forgot Matthew Perry was on Studio 60. That's he was how the star like, of yeah, Studio I 60. I forgot. Uh, he was like the Lord Michaels, wasn't he? No, um, he was like the head writer. Okay. Yeah, they brought him in, didn't they, to like fix the and show? Bradley or something like that? Whitford was the, the yes. other guy, yeah. and then Amanda Peet was like the love interest. Oh, okay. This um, was uh, it was uh, Aaron Sorkin, wasn't it? Yeah. Okay. Yes. Oof. It was a bad show. Yeah, yeah, I remember watching the first episode. And, uh, I think I watched. <laughs> we all watched. Two it was three. appointment I, view. I, I, I think I watched I, two. I don't know if I made it to three. I remember like Amanda Peet got pregnant at one point, and then Bradley Woodford like kissed her and was like, "I'm going to be a father to your baby." Uh, so that's <laughs> what I remember. And so that had to be at least a couple episodes in. I'm laughing already. Uh, yeah. yeah, I'm laughing as hard as I laughed at uh, that new show he did as well. What uh, the newsroom? <laughs> Yeah, is that what it was called? Oh, I yeah. So. I never saw With that. The Jeff, yeah. Uh, the Jeff, newsroom was uh, Jeff, Jeff Daniels. Daniels. Yeah. yeah. If uh, they made a show where, like, the main guy was, you know, he's not progressive. He's not a right wing either. He's right in the middle, and he's just going to say it straight ahead. Ugh, and he's going to tell it like it is. It is. <laughs> Even though he's commenting on stories that they said it like a year in the past, so he could always be right about <laughs> any news event that happened. <laughs> yeah, that show was not very w well received either, right? No, but it lasted three seasons. Oh. Uh, on only, like only... Apple TV Plus or something? No, that was an HBO show. Yeah, HBO. Really? Yeah. Uh huh. 
Yeah. What am I thinking of? Oh, I'm thinking of the morning show. Or the something. morning show, a show that like totally barely show. exists. What's that one with like? They I keep feel making like it. Most though. of the show is on Apple Plus. Don't or exist. Yeah, they can't. Don't exist. Like in, if, like, if 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 they turn it off, then like <laughs> Apple Plus will cease to exist. Yeah, it's, it's, like, it's just so yeah. strange. They exist in like this weird bubble. So they just keep like, making. It's like the TTC. It's like the Harrison uh, Ford uh, show. Oh, I like that show. Uh, oh, what is it called? I'm Shrinking? Shrinking? Yeah. I'm, I'm a crummer. He has a fun. Curmudgeon. He has a fun uh, running gag in that show where he's like, quit raw dogging me. And they're like, you do not know what raw dogging <laughs> means. <laughs> Yo, yikes. Uh, I'm laughing. Uh, but they do that uh, Halo show, which Oof. I love. I've seen the new posters on the subway. Mm -hmm. And it looks like the main guy is just like very confused about why he's on the show. <laughs> like he has his helmet off, like looking off into the distance. It is insane and it's like, to me that they made a second season of that. It's like, Everyone I talk to, like, I think they must have signed up show. for it. <clears throat> yeah. Oh, like they, it was a two season deal. Maybe. Yeah, yeah That's it's kind of like way. a, that show we're all laughing about, Cra uh, Crapopolis, the <laughs> NFT-based Dan Harmon <laughs> show that Fox signed for three seasons before the first episode aired. Oh I've not God. heard of Crapopolis. No one has. No <laughs> one knows it exists. I've never heard of anybody mention NFTs, thank God. But it's like and Matt like Barry year. and Richard I. Oh, I, I can't really? Last name. Richard yeah, Iowate? Yeah, and it's like all Greek gods and stuff like that. Oh, uh, Yeah, no one's watching it. So. Well, I love those two actors, but I, don't watch the I show. Don't, don't do it. But you know what? I can't because it's probably airing on cable, and I don't have cable. What's well, Fox? So I wonder where it would play. Fox it's... stuff for us is usually on Disney Plus. Yeah. Oh, right? yes. oh, that's uh, uh, no, because they. Huh? Yeah. Wait. Yeah, that Fox stuff is very confusing. Anyway, back to Inspector Gadget. <laughs> do we have to? Uh, okay. Um, <laughs> well, Can okay. we talk about shows Let's that just, Aaron Sorkin? There's, a, there's, to there's the... a bunch of big like action set pieces in the third Ugh. act that like. So hey, lame. At least it's something. Yeah. It's no. like you know, uh, Rupert Everett builds like a, a evil clone of Inspector Gadget who kind of like wreaks havoc. Stomps on through the city. And he has big mask teeth on. Yeah. Uh, uh, Which did feel like a reference to the mask. Oh, t totally. That's not the only one in this movie, but yeah. fuck, this whole end sequence is just interminable. It's like, it's it's like just... if you thought that the regular gadget had sound effects, the evil gadget, like, Jesus, he's God. constantly sound effecting. He's always <laughs> mugging, and it just... Yeah, it, it's the just mugging. Yeah. Right. Really, it's... Can I tell my favorite mask joke that's not even from the movie? Okay. It's from Harry Whittles. Do you know who that is? No. Rest in peace. No. He was like a comedy writer, no, uh, Harry, and then he passed didn't away. Didn't he run uh, Ain't It Cool News? No, no, he did not. He had a tweet that was, I hate smoking sections, unless we're talking about the mask with Jim Carrey, in which case the smoking section is my favorite part. That was the tweet. Oh, my God. That's terrible. He's the guy, he's the guy who invented uh, the term humble bragging. Oh, okay. Oh. Yeah. I know anyway. that one. Um, uh, probably a humble bragging. Smoking. Smoking section. Anyway, back to... Oh, I'm gonna retweet it. Good job. Gadget. <laughs> uh, um, he's fighting. Okay, so here's something that I'm gonna give this movie credit for. No. No, that's actually you don't see it in a lot of movies anymore. Is the uh, Rupert Everett has like the Doctor Woman on his helicopter. Gadget flies up. There's a lot of actual stunts on helicopters mm -hmm. that they shot for real, and they have a dissension rig gag when when they're falling off this skyscraper that. Real stunt people. Real stunt yeah. people doing it. And it's pretty fucking impressive because they're falling off a big building. Yeah, you, and you can they would them. never do that now unless it's, I guess, the new Matrix movie. But, uh, but generally, you never see that. Oh, you mean the new uh, Matrix film directed and written by Drew Goddard? <laughs> no. That's a new Matrix film. We're not going to talk about that because we're, it hasn't come out yet. Hey, you never know. No. It might be Maybe someone I mean, I'm sure it'll follow Sinister Six, also written and directed by Drew Goddard. Oh, no. Goddard? Goddard? I think it's yeah. Goddard. Is he uh, related to Jean-Luc Goddard? <laughs> no, um, not to my knowledge. Drew Goddard, uh, wasn't he... Um, He's a Joss Whedon Yeah, I was going to say, didn't yep. he do that movie I Cabin didn't like? Cabin in the Woods. Oh, no, I like that, but the uh, oh, El Royale. Uh, El Roy I yeah, didn't like that didn't, movie either. I didn't care for yeah. that movie. Nope, me neither. Yeah. Uh, he ran the first season of... Buffy? Daredevil, I think. Oh, Daredevil. Yeah. Um, uh, but yeah, he's doing the Matrix. Song? He directed Cloverfield. Right. I think. No. No. Did he write it? I think maybe he worked on Cloverfield. I'm looking here. Yeah, he did. No, he wrote it. He wrote it. Cloverfield was directed by Matt Reeves, Matt Reeves. the Batman. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like yeah, I think that uh, Drew Go Go Goddard is mostly a kind of like punch up guy mm -hmm. that they bring on. Yeah. Oh, he wrote The Martian as well. Oh. Oh. 
and Lost, Daredevil, The Good Place. He wrote a bunch of episodes. The Defenders. Wow, he hasn't done anything since 2017. He's a big TV guy. But he, he, I think he did some interviews where he was like, "Oh, I didn't really like the last Matrix. I didn't get it." And it's like, no. Oh, God. Jesus. <clears throat> well, they yeah. involved Lana Wachowski. Well, mm-hmm. I feel it's like a contractual yeah. thing, right? No, I thought that they weren't. Uh, the, no, yeah. The, the, the Wachowskis She's are like ex- are involved somewhat. I think it's only Lana, and it's like executive producing, but yeah. it's probably just like oh, a kind of here we'll give you a title and only. we'll throw you some. Because well, we're doing it whether you basically what the last movie was about. Yeah, like, exactly. We're doing it without you w- whether you want it or not. Yeah, oh, I know boy. some people who hate the last movie. Jesse, they find it very condescending. A lot of like, people huh? do hate the last movie, and I think that that is a very valid opinion. I personally loved it, but it's oh, very pol- it. it's very so polarizing, good. and yeah. I can I can understand why people thought that it was. Uh, yeah, talking down to them. I personally don't feel like that, but I feel yep. like that's a valid opinion. I mean, everyone's and opinion I, is valid. And I understand people being like, the action is bad. And I was like, you know yes, what? I agree with you. It's not <laughs> yeah, very I do. good. I do. And that's kind of like the point of the movie, <laughs> that she doesn't want to do that anymore. If you want anyway, to hear us talk about that movie, go join our Patreon. We have a full episode or like a half do? hour episode on The Matrix oh. Resolution. Resolution. Resurrection. No, resu- Resurrection. Resurrection. Yeah, Matrix Resurrection. Um, but yeah, so it's, it's so funny they're going back to Matrix after the last one bombed. Nobody I, wants more Matrix movies. I, yeah, I it's weird. It's almost like the Ghostbusters thing. They're like, well, everyone hated that Ghostbusters. Let's try again and uh, yeah. do a, a, a well, different version. People liked version the last one, didn't they? Yeah, no, I like, just meant people with, didn't like the co- the Empire comedy or? one, and then they 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 did Afterlife. Yeah, well, they did the other one. It's like, oh, here's just the Ghostbusters. But it's just the first movie again. Yeah. yeah. And here's a sequel, and it's the first movie again. What do you think this new Matrix is going to be? It's uh, just it'll be just be like a recap of, yeah. yeah. And the thing is, like, I don't, and maybe people disagree with me, or no, they could have different opinions. I don't care about the world if the Wachowskis aren't involved, because everything in it is from what they like mm-hmm. yeah. and their aesthetics being presented to you. And if you take away from that, it's like people in a computer world, I don't care about that. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. Anyway. <sighs> uh, whatever. Uh, so anyway, we gotta Inspector wrap. Gadget. Let's, let's wrap up Inspector Gadget. So I'm sorry <laughs> if maybe we glossed over. Uh, Inspector things. Gadget, like super fans, are like yeah. you need to go beat by beat. What do you guys of... uh, feel about Rupert Everett's performance in this? Because uh, bad. I feel like he a kinda... at least he's trying, but B it's it's a bit much. Yeah, he. I felt like he kind of started out good, and I'm like, okay, he's. At but least by the trying. end, he's just like the end, he's ma- just maniacally so, laughing. He's so obnoxious, and it's just like, oh god. Also, I hate all the fourth wall breaking jokes in this movie, just... referencing Disney actually looking at the camera and saying, "What is the? It, you watch too many Saturday morning cartoons." Ugh. Whoop! And then there's like a sound effect. <laughs> Stop. Um, I find Rupert Everett looks so. Uh, different than he does in Cemetery Man, which was made like five years I, before this. I knew He's you were going to mention. Recognizable. I knew you were going to mention Cemetery Man because you're obsessed yeah. with that movie. <laughs> I'm not obsessed with it. I like it. <laughs> you just talk about it a lot. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Where do I talk about it? Uh, Letterbox, uh, Twitter, Cemetery Man podcast, <laughs> CemeteryMan.com, where I'm the moderator. Um, but yeah, I mean, I oh, like him. Yeah, as we an did actor. an episode on the director. That's why. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. I like him as an actor. I think he can be great. Yeah. I can't like four weddings and a funeral. Is that what he's in? No, it was uh, my best friend's wedding. My best yeah. friend's wedding. That was yes. his big I Napoleon, quote. Narnia, Shrek the Third. Yeah, I don't oh my god! Really know him from any? Don't look at pictures of him now. Um, but uh, well, he he's a guy. Uh, you know, he lived a very hard life involving drugs. Yes. and he's very open about I that. I did see so. the first half of Cemetery Man where you when you played it uh, for some. Mm-hmm. Halloween stream, um, yeah, and I was like, "This movie is weird." Yeah. <laughs> it is. He, yeah, you he are had correct. His, moment. his breakout was uh, my best friend's wedding, where he was. And then, oh uh, yeah, gay best friend. he did Dunstan checks in. Oh boy, the year oh, before. Oh no. <laughs> yeah, mm-hmm. great movie. Ooh. Does not come back uh, for the sequel uh, of uh, Inspector Gadget. Dunstan checks out. <laughs> <laughs> Inspector That's where Gadget he dies. too, starring <laughs> French Stewart. Yeah, French no, Stewart. Yeah. yeah. I will say they play the Inspector Gadget theme song a lot in this movie. That's plus. Hey, I, was, I was happy. I was not expecting to hear it even in the opening credits. I'm like, usually when they do stuff like this, they're just like, ah, fuck it. Let's just make up our own music. Let's get- they do that more than uh, the Super Mario theme in the Bob Hoskins Super Mario Brothers. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, they which play you hear it in the opening, and that's it. They play different. Like, there's like a string quartet kind of version of it when they're at the ball. Um, yeah. I love this song. I think when I was in college, I taught myself how to play it on the flute because I was just like, <laughs> really? Because I was just like, you know, messing around. Uh, yeah. And I was like, I love that song. So it's not hard to learn. Right? Well, they had no. a, a PC when they came out in like the early 80s. You could like program like it to play little beeps and boops. And mm-hmm. this is the first song that I like programmed. Into the wow. Computer. 
So see, we this song had like a huge effect on all of us. And uh, I, well, I, I mentioned it before. I, I love the opening <laughs> sequence of the cartoon. I think it's really, it's like, you know, that siren comes on. Oh my God, yeah. it gives you like the feels. It just brings me back to being a kid, you know? Yep, 9-11 hadn't happened. <laughs> <laughs> it's a different world. Right. It actually ends kind of anticlimactically yeah. uh, at the end. It's like, oh, it's over. All right. And then there's a couple of That's post-credits credits. Well, he's sequences. like making out with the it, girl on his... Yeah, his pants fall down on, porch, on a bridge. And then like he shoots a firework out of his foot. And that's supposed to be a boner <laughs> joke. Yeah. I want like that's toothpaste to just like, mom and dad. explode yeah. out of his crotch. There's a lot of <gasps> jokes like that in this, um, which is, I guess, what you do with an inspector gadget. Do you think he has a huge dick? Like, did they install <laughs> it, one like, for they him? Have to, it has to be like a, like a permanently hard Like a vibrator or something. That, like, <laughs> just, like... It has to be permanently hard. <laughs> yeah. Uh... <laughs> so you're watching the movie and you're like, he has to be walking around with yes. some rock hard robo boner. Because no, it's, it's, it's metal. No, it would be like his finger. No, like a, like, like a balloon. Oh, so it, he put like his dick in his finger? No, no, like no, that. no. They would, it would be like the finger, so like the tip it's would flip it up off. and then stuff, <laughs> like a toothbrush would come out. Yeah. <laughs> so what comes out of his Why did you, why did you install this like this as a joke? I mean, yeah. putting a, they probably put like a vibrator or something no, like that. No, that's where there, like right? the Pez dispenser ca- comes out. Like a rocket launcher or uh, no, something. Yeah, you're right. Colin's on the right track. It's like super impractical. It's like a printer or something like that. Maybe that, yeah. Yeah. He's like, <laughs> it's like, call me on the telephone. He's like, just reach down into my pants. Yeah, no, it's just like all the stocks are coming, like the stock report, like on the, the date. <laughs> I'm getting a fax. <laughs> he just like, I got to get hard to receive it. Yeah, unzips his fly and then just keeps I'm telling you, he doesn't have paper. to get hard. He's always hard. <laughs> yeah. This is a robot. He's a robot. This was all covered in Inspector Jacket. So. <laughs> Inspector Jacket. Uh, <laughs> you think it'd be funny like Edward penis hands. You'd think he'd have floppy penis hands. They're not. They're rock hard all the time. <laughs> And they're just two right. giant dildos go, with go, veins on them. You, this is not a joke. I, I'm assuming you're, you've seen this, Justin. I have not. I've seen the photo of it. This is something my friend once told me as a joke. Yeah. And I looked it up and we laughed and laughed and laughed. Wait, which one? Like, Edward's uh, Edward penis, penis hands? hands? Yeah. Like, you think it'll be like funny. I'll have like floppy <laughs> penis fingers. But instead he just has like two gigantic flesh colored dildos on each okay. hand. I'm not, I'm not putting this picture. No, do not put it on. <laughs> on the, uh, oh or put it God. like censored. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That just looks sad. Like, it looks terrible. Yeah, he looks. Yeah, yeah okay. it looks sad. That's, it looks weird. That's. Uh, um, I'm uh, unable oh, God, to put this on YouTube. There's like a YouTube. photo of him trying to eat spaghetti. Yeah, I'm looking Ugh. at that now. That Ew, guys, disgusting. stop. Okay. Um, oh my God. But no, no, no kink shaming to anyone who's into that movie. But I feel like it was made as no. a joke. <laughs> yes. Edward uh, penis hands. Um, okay, so this movie. <laughs> and that's how we end Inspector yep, Gadget. Yep. Inspector Gadget. Uh, so this movie is available on Disney Plus because Disney Don't owns watch it. it. Um, and in the movie, they actually make reference. They're like, hey, this is a Disney movie. Oh, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, it's stupid. Whoa, 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 whoa. How can I forget talking about uh, I'll Be Your Everything by Youngstown? <laughs> yeah, did that play during the credits? It played during the end credits. I watched that they, video. Because th- there's two videos, April. There's the one I sent you where they look like they're all 50 years old yeah. with dyed hair. Yes. And then there's another one where they look younger and it's like a tie-in where it like cuts to footage of, of Inspector Gadget. Movie. And they're also dancing with like women who look like they're naked because they're only wearing the gadget like trench coat <laughs> and nothing else. And they're dancing with them. <laughs> anyway, Youngstown is like uh, in sync. Well, I Boys. know my boy bands and I never heard of Youngstown. Really? No. Okay. Uh, What's the Canadian boy band? Like there's a famous one, oh. the video they're playing uh, beach volleyball. The Moffats were oh. Canadian. No. Um, I no. remember, the, I know the one you're talking Bef- about. You know before, what I'm talking about. Before yeah. four. Before oh, four? Oh yeah, that's what I'm thinking of. Before four. If you get down on me, I'll get, get down, down on you. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm thinking. I'll what was that in? That you Why did we watch it? Is that another Canadian do? content thing? Uh, well, I mean, I used to watch like the hit list and stuff like yeah. that, which was just basically like, well, and, like much music. and It's like three guys with uh, frosted tips and the biggest necks you've ever yeah, seen. Yeah, they're, they're <laughs> like... hideous looking. The, I, the, the, the Moffats actually were... I wouldn't say that. No, they are. The Moffats actually were like a family. It was like a, you know, oh, one of those, mu- one of those their, musician one of families. <laughs> they did a song called um, Misery and it went... Misery is what I feel when you're not around. So why can't it heal? Oh, but it's a woman singing though. No. So, oh no. <laughs> the Moffats are a bunch of preteen boys. Oh yeah, I see. They uh, they have frosted tips, but they're long hair. Yeah, long hair. 
Um, okay, Inspector Gadget, as I mentioned. Oh, man, I'm Disney rocking Plus. out to this now. Yeah, I remember this. It's on Disney+. Plus and I, One of the I, guys looks like Kieran Culkin. <laughs> they all looked like that back then. <laughs> yeah, back um, then. And they look like Kieran Culkin now. Uh, okay, uh, this movie, I would not recommend it. Uh, I mean, no. no. I would say stay away. And uh, the, the things that are good about it were very, very... Um, Fleeting. Yeah. <laughs> like, even Sherry O'Terry barely in this movie. Yeah. Um, she's funny, and her character was funny, but not enough. Even the same with Dabney Coleman and uh penny and the dog like not just all the things that were good were barely in this movie yeah penny and the dog uh played by uh, uh michelle trachenberg uh, speaking of speaking uh joss of, whedon and Drew, Drew Goddard, yeah <laughs> yeah um yeah. so probably worked better as an animated movie definitely For sure. yeah. yeah way better then i you, feel there's a live action version but like i don't want that no it's no. fine i'd rather <laughs> like, i'd rather see uh, yeah you, i think there was a new cgi inspector gadget show oh, probably. uh i was looking at it and like yeah uh well or there's it's a netflix show oh. wait netflix what? that's weird yeah a canadian cgi and at 2015 oh i'm sure it's hideous looking <laughs> uh released on netflix there was four seasons of it what? but this is new season so there's 52 episodes 103 segments as opposed to the two seasons <laughs> the original show and it got like a hundred plus episodes because oh, that was how you yeah. that was the style at the time back then i mm. think i kind of remember this do you thing. think people have like uh fond memories of this i don't know <laughs> well maybe i don't know um maybe one or two all right i don't know it kind of looks like let's cartoon. let's wrap up yeah, so wrap up. i uh if you want to email the podcast we're at no such thing as a bad movie at gmail.com and we're on twitter and instagram at no such thing pod and our episodes are also on youtube so if you prefer to listen to us on there sometimes we drop in the visual references uh onto those videos if you're curious about that uh particularly funny was the theodore rex episode where we talk about the wax figures so you got to see those (laughs) you got to see those pictures guys it's really funny no pictures no edward penis hands this no no pictures this time um and uh if you want to support us on patreon patreon.com slash no such thing as a bad movie if you subscribe to the five dollar level you get a bonus episode every two weeks and uh next episode is a little catch-up where we just talk about a bunch of movies that we've seen lately mostly horror stuff um um, but uh, yeah, so uh, that's always fun. And we answer a question from the audience every week as well. And if you want to find me, I'm on Twitter and Instagram at April at Mansky. You can follow me at uh, DeClue J or Justin DeClue for basically any social media platform and every week on the Very Fine Comic Book Podcast. So check that out. Subscribe. Thank you very much. Good night. Uh, you can go, go. <laughs> Catch it. <laughs> Go, go, Gadget Chill. Go, go, Jacket. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, You can follow me on Twitter, Sergeant Zima, S-G-T-Z-I-M-A. And that's it for this week. Thank you for joining us uh, for the uh, Go, Go, Gadget um, podcast. When are we doing the second one? I'm telling you, watch five seconds of it and then get back (laughs) to us. If you go to Disney+, Plus, they give you an option of looking at a, a... trailer but it's just a or cl- killing yourself it's just a clip just a from clip. the movie and it's really really and i bad. liked french stewart on third rock from the sun we were just talking about third rock last week for the flintstones yeah um yeah That's right. and then his career basically also went nowhere it didn't well i trust the man who directed beverly hills chihuahua to mm. the 2017 woody woodpecker film Ugh. chairman of the board tooth fairy Two, jingle all the way to Doctor Doolittle, Million Dollar Mutts from two thousand nine. <laughs> what a what a cursed filmography. Well, you know what I say. I say uh, it's up to you if you want to watch that. Uh, yeah, everybody. Um, Wait, yeah, you you could win, can't you? A lottery and then force us to watch. It's it. true. Oh, no, Next God, week's no. episode is going to be the lottery why episode. Why did you remind them? So, uh, oh, why did I bring that up? The, yeah, I'm sorry. Please join the Patreon at the two dollar level and up if you want to pick the next pick next week's movie. And that's it for this week. I'm April Edmansky. I'm Justin Glow. I'm Colin Gunningham. And remember, there's no such thing as a bad movie. Oh, oh, gotcha.